So we've been talking about this M2 MacBook Air for a couple of weeks now, and I think we can all agree that this is a fantastic little machine, except the webcam. Don't worry, I have the solution. Let's ramble. Hold up, things go well when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Hey, what's up, guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So like I said in the intro, these past couple of weeks have been all about the M2 MacBook Pro. I absolutely love this device. It is super portable, super snappy, and it looks great. Well, everything except the webcam. Yes, Apple finally decided to bump the webcam from the slightly ridiculous 720p to a slightly better 1080p. And I say slightly because even though it's an improvement, it's a very small improvement. And let's be honest, it still looks a bit like a potato cam. Now for me, and I'm sure for a lot of you guys too, this has been a major letdown. Since the beginning of 2020, we've all been on video calls much more than we have before. And having good video and good audio quality is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. And I don't understand why Apple has not prioritized the webcam more. Anyway, enough complaining because where there is a problem, there is a solution. And if Apple isn't willing to allocate the much needed R&D on giving us better video quality, other companies will, and they have. This tiny little thing was developed by Insta360. And let me tell you, it is an absolute little powerhouse. Do not be fooled by its size because this little camera packs an incredible punch. Not only does it bring us a proper crispy 4K image, it also offers us actual tracking, making center stage look like a joke and a whole host of AI powered functionality that I'll touch upon throughout the video. Insta360 is not sponsoring the video, just so you know, they did send me this camera ahead of the launch date so I could test it for you guys and share my thoughts, but no money was exchanged and my views on this thing are 100% my own. So let's quickly see what's inside the box before I show you all it can do. And this is what I like about Insta360. I mean, I've reviewed their stuff before and the packaging is always on point. The first thing you notice when you open the box is how tiny this thing really is. And that's a good thing because who wants to be tagging some big bulky webcam onto their otherwise ultra portable laptop? Makes no sense. The webcam connects via USB-C, which is great. We have some documentation, which we hopefully won't need. And we have these stickers. Now these are not meant to be stuck on random things. They actually serve a very specific purpose, which I will show you guys later. We have this little adapter in case you need to plug the webcam into a USB-A port. Needless to say, this webcam works with any computer, not just a MacBook Air, but that is the device I'll be testing it on. And then we have the USB-C to USB-C cable. Insta360 does recommend to use the provided cable since there can be a quality difference between USB-C cables and I guess they want to be sure that we're getting the best possible image out of this webcam. Right, let's put this little guy to work. Setting up the camera is super easy. You just fold out the bottom part and clamp it to the top of the MacBook screen. There are other ways to set it up too, which I will show you later on in the video. As soon as you plug in the webcam, it is ready to be used, but I would definitely recommend downloading the companion app because that is where we can control all of the functionality and there is a lot of functionality. Once it's downloaded and we open up the app, the image appears straight away and you will see that it is set to 1080p by default. Of course, we're here for that crispy 4K, so let's bump that up to the highest resolution. And immediately you can see the difference. It is really super crisp. One of the reasons for this video quality is the fact that this webcam has a half inch sensor, which is crazy for a webcam. For my professional video calls, I've been using a mirrorless camera and a capture card, but I have to say the image out of this webcam is so good that I don't think I'll be needing that setup any longer. Now, my favorite feature is definitely the AI tracking. This works so well because this camera uses built-in AI algorithms it detects the presence of people in the frame and it tracks them. And because this camera has an actual three axis gimbal, this is actual tracking. You see, Apple's center stage isn't actually tracking, obviously because the internal webcam can't move. What it does is it crops the image and it uses that crop factor to move around the frame, making it look like it's tracking you. But if you've used center stage, you will have noticed that the range of motion is quite limited. This camera actually follows me around over the entire width of my office. What makes using this feature even better is gesture control. It can be tedious having to manually turn tracking on and off, as well as operating things like zooming in and out. The Insta360 Link can be remotely controlled by using gestures and it works really, really well. Let me start up the zoom meeting and all I have to do to start tracking is hold up my hand like this 
and you will see the light flashing and boom, it's following me. I can make this L shape with my hand, which will initiate the zoom and move my hand up or down to zoom in or out. Super useful when giving presentations away from your desk. Speaking of presentations, the Insta360 link has something called true focus, which means it can focus extremely quick on faces, but also on anything you hold up to the lens. And that's very useful when you need to showcase a product or something. Holding up the peace sign will start the whiteboard mode, but I will get back to that in a minute. The microphones on this webcam are also superb. It has noise cancellation, which is designed to amplify human voices. And as you can tell, it sounds great. The camera has HDR mode, which balances the highlights and the shadows. So if you're sitting near a big light source, like a window, this will make sure your background isn't blown out. HDR mode is currently supported up to 1080p, so not 4K just yet. Another favorite feature of mine is desk view. Now, you might recall Apple announcing something similar for macOS Ventura, and while that looked pretty interesting, some YouTube channels have been testing it, and it feels a bit gimmicky still, especially because it distorts the image quite a bit once the subject isn't dead flat on the table, but it's raised. Now, because of the three-axis gimbal, the Insta360 can provide actual desk view, where you can show your colleagues or fellow students what's on your desk, you can move it around, it will still look good. Overhead mode is a bit similar to that, but instead of angling down 45 degrees, the camera now angles down at a perfect 90 degrees angle, so it's an actual top-down view. This feature works best when the camera is mounted on a tripod or an arm. And as you may have seen, this camera has a quarter inch thread at the bottom, so it can be mounted to pretty much any tripod, small or large. What makes it so useful to use is the fact that it records upside down. So you can be looking at your papers and the person on the other side will see those same papers right side up for them. If you're a live streamer, this camera also provides portrait live streaming mode. You will need to enable streamer mode in the settings and now you can go into your favorite streaming software like OBS and pick a 916 aspect ratio. Now, earlier in the video, I spoke about whiteboard mode, which is initiated when you hold up that peace sign, two finger gesture. And this is also where these four stickers come in. The way it works is that the Insta360 link can detect and enhance your whiteboard when you apply the four stickers to the four corners of the whiteboard. The stickers will help the camera recognize the boundaries of the whiteboard better, which means the viewers on the other side will see the content of the whiteboard more clearly. In combination with the tracking feature, imagine how helpful this will be for presentations. A tiny little feature that I very much appreciate is privacy mode. We all know that our webcams can be hacked, and when that happens, these hackers can actually see through your camera. Pretty nauseating idea if you ask me. The privacy mode on the link cam turns the camera away from you and downwards as soon as it's inactive for 10 seconds. The Insta360 logo on the front of the camera is actually interactive. It's called touch key, and when you double tap it, the camera returns to a perfect center position. It can be really useful after a presentation where you use tracking or desk view. When you're done using this camera, you just unplug it, fold it back down and put it away. I have to say, I'm thoroughly impressed with this little camera. It's been a blast testing this thing. And for me, she's definitely a keeper. If I did have to give this thing one point of criticism or rather a request for Insta360, it would be to create a tiny case for the tiny webcam. I would love to be able to take this thing into a coffee shop with me or to use it in a hotel room. So a little hard shell case would be awesome to have. Guys, as always, links to everything in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give one of these. It really does help the channel. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.